everybody welcome back to my channel and sorry I've been MIA um, I work like one extra day at my work and then like totally knocks me off my schedule like, and gone because I worked extra so anyway today I'm gonna be doing a haul video on the stuff that I got for the Sephora sale and then I got some stuff at Ulta and some at Mac so I just wanted to show you guys what I got if you want to see what I got then keep on watching okay you guys so I'm gonna start with the Sephora bag it's just this little bag I just put it in here because um, I ordered some stuff online and then I went to the store and they just gave me this little bag because I didn't get too much but anyways I'm just gonna pull out stuff out the bag randomly so the first thing that I got is a fresh lotus um, youth preserve fa face cream and this is with seven with super seven complex so it's an anti-aging moisturizer you can use it um, morning and night it says and it's just a nice like frosty glass and it just smells like the fresh um, face wash so if you use that then it smells like this it's not a bad smell it smells nice to me actually so I've been I already used it by the way because you know when you buy stuff you can't just leave it there I have to use something <laughs> anyways the next thing I got is the NARS um, longer than life long wear eyeliner and via vento it's just a black and I didn't know this when I got it that it was broken because it's like you see the tip but it's actually a screw on so you just screw it up and then it comes out so that's pretty cool and it is long wearing because I have some black pencils but I wanted something that's not gonna fade in my waterline and it's just gonna stay there so this has been this is a naked skin urban decay um, powder foundation and I got it in medium neutral and it has like a nice little packet here so you know like flowery so it's pretty and then you open it you can open it and then it has the Urban Decay package. Sorry, my fingerprints are all over it. And then just, you know, it comes with the Urban Decay sponge and then the powder. And this powder is really nice and soft and velvety. I have it on my face also. It leaves your face like so smooth and like looking smooth and velvety. Love it so far. And I also got its pair with it. I got the Urban Decay concealer and I also got this in medium neutral. And it looks like this and it's just a like a dual full applicator kind of flat you see and the cool thing about this when you use it it has concealer like product on both sides so you can use one and then on the other side you swipe it over and I also am wearing that today so <laughs> and this is random I don't know I was in my bag but this is an elf bake eyeshadow and this is really pretty actually you can use it as a highlighter it's like it almost looks like a highlighter you see how that looks and then I'll switch. you see you can you can use it as a highlighter it's like really pretty yeah I was like wow it's only like three dollars but it's pretty uh, it's in my good bag and I got a makeup forever skin equalizer and this is a step one and this is uh, to fill in the pores and um, make your skin smooth or something I threw away the box should have kept it but this is what I got I want to try it out and then I got a Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper and this is in like a fill tip like a marker and I get oh my it's like so black I kid you not see how like I did my eyeliner I did it a couple days ago and in like two seconds you just put it on and it's just like your eyeliner is on there you don't even have to try that hard which is like really amazing I was impressed by it like wow but anyways and then I got a hundred point thing and I got the um this is the Lancome the Lancome I think it's a Lancome yeah Lancome by facial makeup remover and Beauty by Rosita if, uh, if you don't watch her channel go watch it but she like hypes this and it's like really good makeup remover so I seen it they had it under 100 points and I'm like I have to get it like I have to try it. I haven't tried it yet but I bet it's good <laughs> and I'll show you guys what I got from MAC and I didn't get too many things I just went there to buy the bronzer give me sun but I seen this brush 
And I was like so excited when I seen it. Look how it, it's like pretty, right? You can just like under your eyes. And this is a 137 brush. I don't know if it's limited edition or if it's their permanent collection because they have a collection out. They're out, they had a collection out and the brush was there so I don't I didn't ask I don't know if it's um, permanent but it's pretty and you guys should get it <laughs> the next thing I got is Matt Gimme Sun and this is a packaging it's like really bulky I don't know if I like that but I like the product inside and then it's just like you know just like that and I really tried it it's really pretty I like it it's a nice bronzer to warm up your face but that's the only thing that I got from MAC. And then I got some stuff from Ulta. Some stuff from Ulta online because I don't have an Ulta where I live. But anyways, so the I got a NYX finishing powder in the color Banana. And it's a really big. It's like a lot of product. And it's just, you know, nice under eye powder or all over the face powder. It's really soft and smooth. It's only like 10 bucks. It's really cheap. And then I got the NYX Micro Pencil. And this, I think, could be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers. You, if you guys want me to do like a comparison, I will do it. So it just, just the same. It looks skinny and then it has the, you know, you wind it up and it has a product. And then on the other side, it has a spoolie. So, yeah, it could be a dupe, I think. I haven't tried it out yet, but definitely do a video on that. Next thing I got is two, um lip products I got them from NYX and NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the Tres Leches and this is really pretty nude so I'll just switch it there see it's like pinky nude color it's really gorgeous and then I, on the website and Ulta you can like buy one get one half off and then I got the high voltage lipstick in the color I think this is stone I'm not sure but I'll put it down in the description box below and this is really pretty. It's like a brown, like, like a brown color. I don't know. It's like gorgeous. It almost looks gray on the lips. Like if you put it on your lips, it looks gray. And it's really pretty. I like it. Let's see. And the next thing I got is a Becca blush. When I got this in the mail and I opened it and I seen how little this was. Look how small it is. My, and I have small hands. Look how small that is. I almost had a heart attack. It was like $32 for a little ass blush. Like, oh my gosh, no. And I got the color in uh, Wild Honey. That's how it looks. Look how small. You see how small that is? This is almost like a MAC blush. And the MAC blush in the form like this is $22. $21. But it's so small. I like the blush. It's pretty. But you know what it reminds me of? Of... Uh, Make a Geek Infatuation, which I'm kind I'm wearing it right now with um, NARS Deep Throat, but I don't think I'm gonna buy any more blushes from Becca because that's like really small for like $32 and I don't think it's really really worth it in my opinion anyways. Um the next thing that I got is the Lorac Tenalizer and the travel size and you can what? I don't even know how to open this. Like I tried opening it and I have no clue. So I have to figure out how to open it to use it. <laughs> It's probably like super easy, but I can't figure it out. It's a NYX um, eyeshadow and prism. Uh, I think it's a prismatic collection, and this is in the color frostbite, and it's really pretty. I have it in my inner corner highlight. Do you see that? It's pretty. It's like a. It's pretty. Like look at that. It's like really gorgeous, and it has it's cute packaging. It has like a little bow right there, and then you just open it. So I just got that and then I just got some samples from there they gave me a um, the Becca Everlasting Everlasting Ever Matte Poreless Primer just a small size um, but that's all I got from there and then I got some, got some stuff in the drugstore not too many just a couple things the first thing that I got is from Wet n Wild and this is contour palette okay and this is in the Dulce de Leche color and I kid you not, I've been going to the store for a whole month. They only have it at Walmart. I've been going there for a whole month to try to find this color because this one here, I think it almost looks like a banana color. This one, I wouldn't use as a contour shade because it's too light for me. Maybe as a transition color when you're using eyeshadow. 
but this here is really pretty see it has like a banana color because they have a different one but it wasn't light so I didn't want that one it's only like 383 and it was finally in stock and I got it quick <laughs> the next thing that I got is wet and wild and this is I'm his breezy what kind of name is that but <laughs> the colors are so pretty you know it has like shimmery blues and I'm wearing it actually on my eyes like blue and then I put some purple and put it on my waterline and some black so this is really it's, you know what it's really inexpensive and it's really pigmented so it's like really good from the drugstore but that's all I have for you guys that's all I picked up from Sephora sale and from Ulta and stuff and Mac I just wanted to show you guys what I got if you guys want to see anything any other videos just leave them in the comments down below and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one